All right, hello Tigers. Tonight we are going to read this book from our elementary library. And this book was recommended by our awesome librarian, Mr. Edwards. And I wanted to read a book to you from him to remind you to bring back your library books, Tigers. So search your house, find any of those missing library books, and get them turned back in for the year. All right, this story, Creepy Pair of Underwear, is by Aaron Reynolds with pictures by Peter Brown. I've never read this story before, Tigers. Creepy Pair of Underwear. Jasper Rabbit needed new underwear. On Thursday, Mom took him to the underwear store and grabbed the last three packages of plain white. But just as they headed for the checkout, Jasper spotted for them. Spotted them. Creepy underwear. So creepy, so comfy. They were glorious. Mom, Mom, can we get these, Jasper pleaded. I think they're a little creepy, Mom said. They're not creepy. They're cool, said Jasper. I'm not a little bunny anymore. I'm a big rabbit now. Mom agreed to buy one pair. That night, Jasper wore his cool new underwear to bed. Do you want me to leave the light on? Asked Dad. Dad, I'm not a little bunny anymore, said Jasper. I'm a big rabbit now. His dad shut the door, and that's when Jasper noticed... The underwear glowed, a ghoulish, greenish glow. He closed his eyes, he pulled up the covers, he buried his face in his pillow, but it didn't help. He could still see that ghoulish, greenish glow. Jasper leaped out of bed and put on a pair of plain white. He stuffed the creepy underwear into the bottom of his laundry hamper. He finally fell asleep. But when he got up the next day, he was wearing the creepy underwear. Jasper threw them into the garbage can. He was still a big rabbit. He wasn't scared of or anything. But he was done with the, with the scary underwear. After school, Jasper was doing his homework when he heard it. A scratchy, scraping sound coming from his dresser. He opened the dr drawer and they were back staring at him with that ghoulish, greenish glow. He snatched the creepy underwear out of the drawer. He grabbed a big envelope and some stamps. Bye bye scary underwear, he said, dropping the package into the mailbox. He wrote it to China. When he opened the front door the next morning, they were there. And were those chopsticks? His creepy pair of underwear had somehow returned from China, and it had brought back souvenirs. Jasper grabbed his mom's good sewing scissors. She didn't like him using them, but this was an underwear emergency. This time, the creepy underwear were gone for good. At bedtime, he slowly opened his underwear drawer. Nothing, just plain white undies. He searched under his bed. He shook out his lampshades. Whew, there was no sign of creepy underwear. He went into the bathroom to comb his ears. And they were back. What's the matter with you, his mom asked. You're so jittery lately. Nothing, he yelped. A grown rabbit couldn't be terrified of his underpants. He seized the underwear. He snagged a shovel from the garage. And he rode. He didn't stop pedaling until he reached Creek Hanger Hill. Jasper began to dig. He dug until his hole was dark and deep and 100% underwear proof. He dropped the underwear in. They gleamed from the bottom, that ghoulish, greenish glow. But not for long. When he got home, Jasper crept up to his dresser. They couldn't be in there. There was no way, right? He reached for the handle. He peeked in. Nothing. Just plain white. Jasper smiled and turned out the light. It's very dark. There was one problem. It was really dark in there. Even for a big rabbit. 
Jasper turned on the light. He looked at his non-glowy pair of plain white, and he knew what he had to do. The creepy underwear were a little muddy, but they still filled the room with that gentle greenish glow. The next day, Jasper gathered his allowance money and went to the underwear store all by himself, just like a big rabbit. That night, Jasper wasn't scared at all. As he lay down to sleep, he smiled, and so did his underwear, because they had finally found somebody who wasn't scared of creepy underwear. What do you think, Tigers? He used that ghoulish greenish glow as a nightlight and turned his creepy underwear into something that could help him sleep. All right, that's our story for tonight. And a big thanks to Mr. Edwards for recommending such a fun story to us. And remember, Tigers, look for your library books and bring them on back. Have a great night. We'll see you in the morning.